Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about a lot of beauty, fragrance, and then a little bit of fitness, fashion, lifestyle. Like we kind of do a little bit of mix of everything here. So if you like that type of content, definitely click that subscribe button and join the Glam Girl Squad. But today we are here to talk about the new Danessa Myricks Lift and Flex Concealer for face and eyes. And I got four shades for you. We will be showing all four shades on the skin. I have been wearing these concealers now for two weeks. So when I tell you I have details to share and experiences to share, trust and believe me, you wanna watch this video all the way through. So not only can you make the best decision for you in terms of shade, but you'll get a really good feel of how this concealer will work best for you. And honestly, let me just put it out there now why this concealer will be the concealer launch of the year. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. Like I mentioned before, if you're new, click that subscribe button. We'd love for you to join our Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you from the bottom of my heart for constantly supporting my channel, showing up for me in all the ways that you do so by watching my video, liking it, commenting down below, and shopping through my links. They all truly help my channel to grow. But more than that, I just really appreciate you being here. So let's get right into this video. Now y'all know, I am a Danessa Myricks stan, okay? Fan is not a great enough word. Stan really isn't a great enough word for how much I love her personally, but the brand. And if you don't know, now you know. So I have been wanting a concealer from her. I do know that she came out with years ago a concealer pen. I never got my hands on that one, but I have been yearning and earning for a concealer and she has given it to us with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Hydrating Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine. If you know anything about her Yummy Skin line, the thing about the Yummy Skin line is that your skin is going to look natural, luscious, radiant, really healthy. And we also know that with the Yummy Skin line, these products are packed with amazing ingredients. So with this concealer, we get 20 shades. It does retail for $30. You can now purchase it across any platform that sells the brand, and we get a total of 20 shades. We get, in terms of product amount, 0.32 ounces of product or 9.4 milliliters of product. The brand did send over these concealers, and I'm very grateful to have them and to have been sent these concealers. And I do have shades 7, 9, 10, and 15. So we will show all of those shades on my face today and show you the ways you can lift and flex conceal and all the things getting into the details of this product this is going to be a medium to full coverage skin loving all over face concealer packed with nine plant-based ingredients plus hyaluronic acid and vitamin c the finish of this concealer is going to be natural and just to read off some of the ingredients that are in this concealer because we've got 12 skincare ingredients in it, nine being plant-based. We have caffeine in here that's gonna make the skin appear brighter and tighter, orchid flower extract, which will increase luminosity and clarity, centella asiatica, which is going to moisturize the skin and repair the skin barrier function, cushion extract, this is an antioxidant known to combat darkness and discoloration, Echinacea extract, this is going to be a soothing antioxidant for anti-aging, and then we have Purslane extract, which will reduce inflammation and hydration. We've already mentioned hyaluronic acid. We've already mentioned vitamin E. And just to give you a bit more information about the product, this is a serum hybrid complexion improving formula that will flex and move with the skin. It visibly smooths and corrects all areas of the face with a soft matte finish. The flexible shade range is designed to match every skin tone and tackle any concern. The target dose applicator provides the perfect amount. I'm not done yet though. So of course, Danessa is going to put her products through a clinical trial. And the one fact that absolutely blew my mind that I'm like, everybody needs to know is that 100% of the participants said that after eight hours of wear, the skin was more hydrated where they applied the concealer. Let's just sit and let that marinate. Because what, first of all, I'm a scientist. Okay. If you don't know, I'm a scientist by trade. Very rarely do we get 100% of anything. Okay anything. We get a good 95, 97. Shoot, birth control is 99.9% .9 effective, but this here product here is 100% effective in terms of increasing the hydration 
of the skin where you apply this. And this is not just Danessa saying it, her team saying it. This is the participants in the study saying it. So they have no obligation to be lying and doing all the things. Like amazing results. Some other of the stats that were gathered through this product trial, 100% saw natural results after eight hours. This is not upon immediate application. This is after eight hours of wear. 94% said product improved under eye brightness and the 91% said it improved the appearance under the eye or of the under eye. So really amazing scientific research to support the claims of this product. Last thing that I want to share with you are the six ways to flex because that's what she's saying we've got six ways to flex with this concealer you can conceal under the eyes you can go foundation free and apply all over the face without a trace we have correction of discoloration and dark spots power lift so you're going to go a lighter shade maybe one to two shades lighter i'll show you what i do in terms of how i power lift for an extra yummy slay contour or bronze at dimension and structure and then the six ways to flex is blemish retouch so spot touch to add coverage to your favorite foundation okay we've talked a lot now let's get into the demonstration you've already been seeing b-roll but i'm going to walk you through what you saw and show you how i lift and flex so let's get into the actual shape of the doe foot because this is going to be pretty unique so we have what she calls a well targeted applicator and so if you look at it you've got this nice well or groove that she's using as her well and then the point of the applicator comes to a nice targeted point so what you can do in terms of application of product this well is going to hold a nice amount of product for you but the tip will hold just enough product for the amount of concealer that you need because we don't want to over conceal however if you do want to cover a larger area with the concealer you can go on its flatter side and then apply more product or you can use the tip to have more targeted application of product in terms of using the well it fits so perfectly oh i just added a little bit here if it's so perfectly around the grooves of the nose or in the crevices of the eye as well so i really do enjoy this applicator and i do enjoy that you're not getting an excessive amount of product now me just being me when i take the applicator out of the container i still do wipe off the excess just out of habit but there have been times where i haven't done that and i haven't had like too much um product put on the face so i do really enjoy the shape of the applicator because if you're not thinking about wiping off the applicator before applying it to the face you don't really need to do that at all now in terms of actual shades and just showing you what they look like on the back of my hand I'm going to read the description of the shade um, because what I also really ap appreciate about the formulation of these concealers is that we have a plethora of undertones. So let me tell you this. If you heard 20 shades and you were like, that's it, she used all 20 shades on 108 models. So there was 108 models in this campaign for the concealer because they wanted to make sure that the 20 shades would truly flex across shades 108 models 20 shades the math is mathing in the best possible way so do not be alarmed that oh wait there may not be a shade for me but better yet there may not be an undertone for me she came with the undertones so here we have shade seven and shade seven is going to be for medium complexions with golden yellow undertones there's also pink undertones olive undertones warm neutral golden yellow i mean i pretty much she pretty much covered all of the undertones that we have this next shade here is going to be shade nine and shade nine is going to be for medium complexions with peach undertones i really really enjoy using this shade for correction because that peach undertone is going to be great for correction and shade seven is my power lift shade and we'll go into what that means in just a moment the next shade that i have is going to be shade 10. shade 10 is for tan complexions with neutral undertones this is my prime t-zone and under eye shade when i want more of like a natural just slightly lifted look to the skin it's almost my perfect shade match um for all over the face almost this last shade that i have here is shade 15 
And shade 15 is going to be for dark complexions with warm undertones. This is the shade that you'll see me use today for bronzing. So getting into the demonstration, I first went in with shade 10 because like I said, that is going to be what Danessa calls my laundromat shade. So if I am like casually running to the store, going to the laundromat, I don't want to, I really don't want to put on any makeup, but I just want to kind of correct the areas of my face, lift them just slightly. Shade 10 is the shade that I'm going to go in with. So I use that in my T-zone, down the center of my face, under the eye area, and then I went in with shade 15 to add a slight bronze to the skin. Now what's really great about these concealers is that they are going to be packed with color correcting pigments. If you know anything about this serum skin tint, then you already are familiar with this natural color correcting property that she's included in both of these products. So when you're going in with the concealer shades, no matter what shade you're going in with, it's gonna already have those color correcting pigments to help even out the skin and brighten. One thing that she described, and all of this information that I got, I got from her, of course, I have, I won't in the lab, even though it would have been cool to be in the lab, but I got all of this either from the website or listening in on her Teach Me Tuesday. So I really encourage you to do the same because like, I know I'm leaving out so much information, but just trying to share with you as much as I can remember. So one thing that I really love about those color, those color correcting properties is that you don't always have to like you don't always have to have to have multiple shades to deliver the final look that you're looking for. Okay, so started to blend that out. And like I said, that's going to be what I use when I want like a very natural, just slightly lifted type of look to the skin. Notice the amount of product that I went in with. You need a smidge of product. If you know Danessa, you already know this. Do not, do not do this. Do not open up this container take out the applicator and start drawing you a huge triangle, putting this all over the face, unless you're just really trying to put it all over the face because the coverage will be there, the product is going to stretch and it's going to cover the way that you need it to cover. Especially if you're someone who doesn't like full coverage, literally, you probably only need one or two dots, maybe three if you're trying to be fancy. And I'm, I'm and when I say dot, I'm talking like, let me, let me show you. I'm talking like, no extra pressure, no extra pressure type of dot. Do y'all see that? And that one dot honestly could cover this whole area of the under eye. If I'm going for just like a slightly brightened, slightly correcting type of coverage for the under eye and not even slightly because it's going to give you coverage. So do not go in with a lot of product because you really don't need it. The first time I used this concealer, I had a full coverage foundation on. I was using the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation and the shade of the foundation is a little deep. So I was like, all right, let me go in with the with the Yummy Skin um, Lift and Flex Concealer. I'm going to go in with shade seven because that'll probably brighten it. Y'all, I went in with too much product. The full coverage that you see here, over here, is insane. Full coverage from the, from the actual foundation. But I was like, why did I do that? I know Danessa be coming with the coverage. So if you don't want a lot of coverage, one or two dots, maybe three, that's all you need, okay? All right, and then blend it out. The brush that I use to blend out the concealer is the My Kit Co. 1.7, my ultra multi brush. I wanted something nice and fluffy to really blend it out because I knew I was gonna add on layers of concealer and I still wanted this to look very natural. Even though with adding more coverage, you're gonna get more of a natural look, but I really wanted to like make this look like skin. So that's the brush that I use. And then just for more educational reasons, I use a nice swirling motion to blend out the product to really diffuse it, blend it into the skin. And it literally looks like skin. Legitimately looks like skin. And I also love that this product really was built and formulated to move and flex with the skin. So no matter if you've got a lot of creases in your face, if you've got a lot of like deep smile lines, you've just got texture, you've got life lived on the face in a very good way. There's nothing wrong with how our face is and how our face decides to age. And you know, especially if you're an expressive person like me, I'm gonna smile all the time, I'm gonna wipe my eyes. I wanna make sure that the concealer that I use, really any makeup that I use, moves with it and doesn't accentuate the areas that I don't want 
to be accentuated. This concealer was formulated to really move and flex with the face. And so based off the Based off the way that she described the flexing properties of this concealer, it made me think of, imagine a bubble, right? And imagine that bubble being placed on your face and then literally wrapping itself 3D into the skin. So it's wrapping surfacely and then it gets into the skin and then wraps and finishes the wrapping like deep within the skin. That's how this concealer is going to literally wrap itself around your skin. And when you think of a bubble and the way that it does that, if you can like visualize that, it's gonna move with the skin, not a bubble that pops, but like a bubble that's gonna like move with the skin and stay in place. So it's moving, it's flexing, it's stretching but it's not going to like accentuate the skin in a negative way. That's how this particular concealer moves and flexes with the skin and legitimately looks like skin. Okay, all right. So we put on shades 10 and 15 and this literally could be like my no makeup makeup look out the door. I really could have done 10. That's literally like laundromat type of skin. Shade 10 and I'm out the door. Added shade 15 for a little dimension. I would call that like my beach day type of look, like just T-zone concealer, add a little bronze to the skin and I'm going to the beach. I got nice, perfected, even complexion and we're gonna be glowing too, right? Okay, cool. So then let's say I wanted to add a little bit more of like a correcting element to the skin. That's what I used shade nine for because it has those peach undertones and I love me a peachy corrector, right? So what you saw me do was add just a little bit in the inner corner of the eye and I added two more dots just to like even things out and then added it around the nose and then um, did I put this around the corners of my, I think I put this around like the corners of my mouth to like further lift, right? You saw such a difference from shade nine and 10 because nine added a little bit more of a corrective property. It brightened the skin just a bit more, right? Beautiful. But then if I really wanna glam it up, if I really wanna power lift the skin, as she says, I went in with shade seven. This shade, I won't lie, I thought it was gonna be too light for my skin. I was like, oosh. I ain't really gonna be able to use this at all. But the blend and the skin-based mimicking properties that these concealers have, it blended into the skin like nothing but brightened. So I added that once again in the same areas that I added the other three concealer shades under the eyes, down the T-zone, center of the chin, blended it in with the same brush and it legitimately looks like skin, but we are more bright, we are more lifted. Speaking of the brightening property, something that I love about this particular concealer that I tend to not like about other concealers that have this one ingredient in is the caffeine property or the caffeine that's in this particular concealer does not overly brighten the complexion to where it looks so like overly dramatic and not like skin because anytime that I hear a skincare and anytime that I hear a complexion product has caffeine I, I kind of go like <laughs> why because it looks so synthetic on the skin to me it doesn't look naturally bright it looks like I added white under the eyes and threw in a touch of pigment the way that the caffeine is formulated in this product, which is my own personal opinion, I feel like we're getting that brightening effect, but it is not looking synthetic. It is still looking like skin, but you're getting that brightened effect. Because I guarantee you, if I went in with a shade like this in another product, I'm actually thinking of, and this is no shade to the product, but I'm thinking of the Charlotte Tilbury concealer and also the Makeup by Mario concealer. Both of those have caffeine in them. I went in with a shade similar to this and it was too bright. It was just too bright. So I really enjoy that there is caffeine in here to give you a brightened effect on the skin if that's what you want, but it doesn't look, it doesn't make it not look like skin on the skin. Okay, let's to point that out. Alrighty. So now let's get into how the product settles into the skin. It settles so nicely and it does not have to be set with powder if you have normal to dry skin. When I say I love that, because I appreciate
appreciate a powder. I really do. But I really only want to have to powder on certain occasions. So if I'm doing a very quick makeup look, no makeup makeup look, sometimes I just don't want to have to powder. I want to just put it on and be out the door. And you legitimately don't have to powder this concealer. As a matter of fact, of the many times that I've worn this concealers, I've worn it without powder under the eyes more times than I have. Even like today, let me show y'all what I did. So for today, I went in with her Evolution Powder in shade 01, literally took whatever was here. This is a Sonia G Buffer Pro Brush. So this is not a brush that's gonna like pack on powder. Literally swirled it in the container and buffed the powder into the skin and literally grazed over the under eye area. I've had these concealers on now for almost three hours. Let's come in close so you can see the how it looks under the eyes. As you can see, we do not see any major creasing at all. And we put my head down and look up so you can see. As a matter of fact, I really don't see any creasing at all. I've been talking, smiling, like face has been expressing. You do not have to set this. Now, if you have oily skin, I'm. if you know me, you know that I'm always gonna tell you, prep the skin the way you know it needs to be prepped, right? So if you have oily skin, you might wanna still go in and set, but I feel like you'll notice that you don't have to go in with as much powder to make the product stay in place. Like I said, go back to that analogy of like a bubble wrapping itself around the skin like in 3D form and like sealing in it. Think about saran wrap. That's another good example. You know how you put saran wrap on something and that saran wrap like creates that barrier and it just fits over whatever you're wrapping and stays, like helps the product to stay in place. If that makes sense to you, that's how I imagine this concealer. When it's applied to the skin, it literally like wraps itself around the skin and just settles in the best possible way and stays in place. And you know, Danessa, she not coming out here making something that's cute and then she won't be having no longevity. So this lasts on the skin for hours. Sun up to all the way sun down. I've had this concealer on, I think the longest time I wore it was a solid 12 hours. We were still looking fine. I mean, when I say fine, I don't mean fine like, is she all right? I'm talking fine like, girl, she fine, fine. Like it, it stays in place. It locks in place without looking cakey, overly matte, and dry. Danessa said that when she was formulating this concealer, when she was trying to figure out like what would be the perfect concealer for so many different types of concerns, her biggest things that she wanted to address was hydration because a lot of people complained about concealer, especially under the eye area, making it look dry, dehydrated, cakey. She also wanted to make sure that for people who want those no makeup makeup looks, I legitimately don't wear makeup, but I just want to color correct in the areas that I need to or even out the complexion. You had a product that was light enough for your liking, but then she also wanted to address the concerns of like, I want full glam beat. I want to look like a whole different person type of coverage, type of product. She wanted to make sure that the product addressed those concerns as well. And you are legitimately getting this with the Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Concealer. As you saw from my previous B-roll, I paired this with full coverage foundation, like you could not see my freckles at all. And this concealer, she held it down with the full coverage foundation and held her own weight. I paired this with literally nothing. Like today, I have on no foundation. And if you know me, I am a foundation gal. I love me a foundation. I am not the person that goes like no makeup makeup and like does two dots of concealer, blends it out and, all, and I'm out the door. I'm gonna throw on a foundation, but I really don't have to with this concealer. And I love that you're getting like a very, very soft matte finish. I have on no highlight. I did not apply no primer on the skin. I always go in with my water powder serum. As y'all can see, she is well loved, but I was like, nope. I want the people to see what the product looks like on the skin with nothing but skincare underneath it. You see that the skin looks really nice and blurred. Like I said, you see my skin, you see the imperfections of my skin, but things look so perfected. And you're and and you're not seeing excessive oils being produced. Like everything is just looking really natural and very much skin-like. So no matter what type of base you're gonna put this with, whether it's no foundation at all, it's just your skin, or you're going in with like balm powder and concealer, 
You can pair her with a skin tint, okay, serum skin tint, concealer. If you wanna do full on coverage, girl, VCC and concealer, I mean, she goes with whatever complexion product you wanna put her with, or she does very well just with your own skin. Now, when I was watching her Teach Me Tuesday, the question was asked, like, what's the difference between VCC and the concealer? Because if you know anything about Vision Cream Cover, VCC, this is going to be a non-water-based pigment that literally does whatever you want it to do. This is the actual product that I use in my makeup artistry kit because it works so well with any skin type, no matter what, you just have to know how to use it to make it work for your skin. Biggest difference is that this product does not have any skincare products within it. It's a true pigment. Whereas your concealer, you're getting skincare benefits in it, plant-based ingredients in it as well. And this formula is going to be more hydrating, just like by itself. Like I said, you know how to work with VCC. This can look very beautiful and skin-like as well, but just like straight out of the tube as is. Those are the biggest differences. VCC is definitely going to give you more of a solid matte coverage, just like straight out of the tube without uh, changing the, without tweaking the formula for your skin. Um, whereas this is going to give you a very soft matte finish. So those are the biggest claims. We've talked about the longevity of it. It's going to last sun up, sun down. Like, do not worry about this not being on the skin hours later it's not going to start to fade at eight hours and like kind of go away like she's very much going to stay in place until you take her off now getting into who i think this product is going to work best for this is literally going to be a concealer for every skin type so let's go into how you can make it work for you if you have excessively dry skin i'm talking like almost psoriasis dry skin um where you're like i need all the hydration hydrate your skin the way you know it needs to be prepped so do not and I, I just want to put this out there in general do not rely on one makeup product to meet the skincare needs for your skin yes this is packed with 12 skincare ingredients nine of them being plant-based but this is still not going to be enough hydration if you have really dry skin so prep your skin with all of the hydrating benefits that you know it needs i would recommend going in with her moisture repair balm if you feel like you need really good hydration and moisturization to the skin moisturization to the skin danessa loves going in with the inky list caffeine eye cream to really add like a lifted juicier effect to the under eye area so prep your skin with some really great hydrating products but once you do that you can go in with this product it is not going to look dry it's not going to accentuate your dryness and it's going to do all the things that you want your concealer to do if you're like me and you have more normal skin honey prep your skin the way you normally prep it you can go in with this product and you're going to look beautiful. I don't feel that I need to go in with any additional primers for this product. I like the water powder serum just for its extra blurring effect. And then also if I know it's going to be extremely hot, I'm going to be sweating. This is going to give me that extra oil control throughout the day. So normally I would go in with this product just in my T-zone area here and here, just to like further conceal the pores. Um, or if I also know like it's gonna be a long day, I'm gonna be sweating, I'm gonna be outside, I want that extra like protection for the skin in terms of like making sure things are gonna look as blurred as possible throughout the day, then I'll go in with this product. But I don't have to, I just like to do that. If you have combination or oily skin, then if you wanna go in once again with your mattifying primers, definitely do that. Prep your skin how you feel it needs to be prepped best. And then this concealer, I believe, will work really beautifully for you because it has that soft matte finish. And if you like a more of a matte finish, like I think, you know, the way you prep your skin along with this product is going to just make things look really, really beautiful. And I like to be more mattified in my T-zone and then I like to have more glow toward the perimeter. So I feel like this gives me like that soft matte finish. And you can even see like I've got my natural oils coming through in my T-zone area here. Things are not looking greasy though. Concealer is staying in place. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna look just like this. I'm not gonna look even more dewy or you're not gonna see my concealer breaking down. Like I'm gonna look just like this in another five hours. I love to like sometimes when I'm using concealer, especially like down here in the chin area, at the end of the day, it can look like cakey and kind of like, you know, you see the concealer wearing away down here, but then it's like 
kind of gathered up here. This concealer does not do that. Like when I say she stays in place, she really does stay in place. Alrighty, so if, so if you go on the Sephora website or the DMB website and you scroll through, scroll through all the pictures, number one, you'll see the six ways to flex, but actually seeing on people's faces. So you'll see how you can use it as a concealer, foundation free, correction, and so on. And then she gives us a comparison of concealer shade to balm powder shade to serum foundation tint shade. So for instance, my go-to T-zone shade is gonna be shade 10. So when I look at the shade finder chart, it says that if you wear balm powder shade six all over the face, which I do, then you would probably wear serum skin tint shade 10, which means you would use the Lift and Flex shade nine as like your complimentary concealer shade. Also, it says if you wear balm powder all over the face in shade six, you would use probably serum foundation in shade 10. And then you could also use Lift and Flex Concealer in shade 10, which is the shade that I love. And just for reference, I use shade 10 in the, in the serum skin tint all over the face. And I also use balm powder in shade six all over the face. Now, I do like balm powder shade five as like a T-zone under eye brightener shade. So if that is you, it says that if you like balm powder, if that works all over the face for you, you probably wear Serum Skin Tint shade eight, which means you would use the Lift and Flex Concealer in shade six. She has broken the concealers into five shade categories. We have fair to light, light to medium, medium to tan, tan to dark, and then dark to deep. So those are the five categories that she has broken the concealers up. For my complexion, I fall in the medium to tan. You can use these concealer shades if you're into buying like multiple shades of concealers. Um, and this is all based on Balm Powder shade six and Serum Skin Tint of shades nine and 10. We can use the Lift and Flex Concealer for shades seven, eight, nine, and 10. All four of those shades will work well for us if you're falling between those balm powder shades and then those um, serum skin tint shades. So if you know either of those shades, definitely look at the shade chart to see like what block of concealer shades will work well for you. And that'll help you to figure out like what shades do I think I wanna get. And cause I'm just gonna tell you this, I would recommend getting a few shades, a few mini, at least three. You can get your all over face shade, you can get your power lift shade, and then you can get your bronzing and contour shade if you want to. Um, or really, I say four, because you want your all over shade, then you want your like laundromat lifting shade, then you want your power lift shade, and then you may want a bronzer shade. Now you don't need all four, but you know, those are my recommendations. Now, the last thing that I did that I wanna share with you all is that it says that this concealer is for face and eyes. So we did a little eye look here with two of the shades. So I used shade 15 as my base shade and I honestly went in with too much product, okay? You can see it as I'm blending it out. <laughs> but it did blend nicely into this skin. And then I took shade, I think it was shade 10 that I took to add some brightness to the inner corner of the eye. So that's the base of the eye. And then for the shimmer, Danessa Marek's Love is Love palette, which I've been loving on. I know I didn't give y'all like a dedicated review, but when I say I've been loving this palette, I have been loving it. Um, I took this shade right here. That's what you see in the center of the eye. And then this, this shade right here is one of my favorite shades. It's Freedom, I wanna say. No, Truth, the shade Truth. These Truth and Ally together, you're not ready. So beautiful. But yeah, I went in with Truth and that's what you see in the inner corner of the eye. And this shade right here, just so we can know shade names, is called Worthy. So that's the eye look here. I added the Lift and Flex Concealer Shade 15 along the lower lash line to give like a little bit of warmth. And then I added like a nice brown eyeliner um, right here on the outer corner of the eye and then along the lower lash line, tight line, and then a little bit down on under the lower lash line. Um, so that's my eye look here. So you really can use these concealers all over the face in any type of way that you wanna use it to lift, correct, conceal, and just, and just do all the things that you want it to do. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I think I have included everything. 
if I didn't, and if there are still questions that you have, please leave them down in the comment section below so that I can help to answer your questions. And if you've already got these products and you're using them and loving them, please leave your experiences down below so that other people can have another perspective. And I'm always here to be objective and to hear and understand everyone's concerns. So if you've used this concealer and you feel like it doesn't work for you, you're not liking it, leave that down in the comment section below because either A, I could maybe provide a suggestion to help you get to help you so that you end up using it in a way that you do enjoy or so that you know, someone else can go like, oh my gosh, I dealt with that same issue. This is how it worked for me. I love for this to be a learning community. So I never want anyone to feel like that they can't share their experiences, whether it's positive or like, I don't know about this. I don't know if this is going to work for me. So leave whatever feedback you have down below based on your experiences about this concealer, because that just helps us to grow, learn, and understand. And guys, that's it. I think that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.